Yep. Go get her, Ralph. Should have been pitching anyway. What's going on, boys and girls? Uh, Maddie Moss getting roughed up here in the bottom of the first inning against Florida. In the semifinals of the SEC softball tournament, winner advances to take on South Carolina tomorrow. And I will be doing the selection show Sunday for the NCAA softball tournament. Tennessee in good shape to host a regional. And maybe a super regional as well if they can get through the regional. But that's not why I'm on here. I was flipping through the channels here a second ago, waiting for first pitch on this game. And stopped on Paul Feinbaum. They were... He was talking to a Tennessee fan, and I happened to tune in just at the right time to catch this. And this is something that I should have caught last week, but didn't. So, Beverly Davenport, Tennessee fans, as you know, was canned last week. And the reason she was fired, was cited as her inability to communicate. So naturally, naturally the right thing to do in this situation is to appoint her a professor at the College of Communications at the University of Tennessee, isn't it? I mean, in pure Tennessee fashion, that's the correct thing to do. And she will still be making a boatload of money. I I saw the figure last week. I can't remember what it was. It was up there. Close to a million bucks a year. Uh, and you know, look. Just like I said last week in the video when I talked about her. I don't get into this kind of stuff. I could really care less who is the professor of the College of Communications any more than I care about who is the professor at the College of Biokinetic Hosiery at the University of Tennessee. I just don't care. I care about sports. That's where my money goes when I have money to spend on entertainment. It goes to football and, you know, that's where it my entertainment dollar has pretty much always gone. And I just refuse to care about things like this, but I found that one too funny to pass up. In the light of all of the bonehead moves that the University of Tennessee has made in the last several years, that one just... Wow. So far, Tennessee and Florida both 33 pitches thrown in one inning. The difference, Florida is socking it to the ball. Two to nothing. Can football season please get here? I know we got a long ways to go and a short time to get there. We're SEC bound, loaded up and trucking. Tennessee is going to do what they say can't be done. And that's win an SEC football game this fall. I don't know who it's going to be. I don't know when it's going to be. And I don't know by how much. But Tennessee will win an SEC football game this year. Bank it, book it, mark it right now. It's going to happen. Well, there we go. There's another run in for the Florida Gators. It's 3 to nothing in the bottom of the first with one out. If Tennessee's not careful the way Florida hits, this will be one of those five run or five inning games. N nobody's beaten Florida this year anyway, I don't think. They, they've just been lights out in softball. As good as Tennessee is this year, they're not beating Florida. They may come back and win today. Hell, who knows? This could be their year to win their first national championship, we'll see. I'm going fishing, believe it or not. So, while Tennessee fishes for some defense, 
I'm out of here.